If it's a main Sonic game and you fight Dr. Eggman directly, it counts towards the list. If it's just a robot that Eggman made but isn't using, it doesn't. These fights are based on how fun they are to take on, and that's about it. So let's just get started and get her ranked. 146, Green Hill Zone. I can't believe this is real. Robotnik quite literally soars in the air, floats down, and charges forward. That is it. Even for a first boss for this game, that's pretty sad. 145, Dr. Eggman. Push that little shooty button fast and you win. By far the most laughably easy Eggman boss. Even the second fight is no challenge. This just makes me giggle. 144, Green Hill Zone. It's Robotnik floating in place, but with a boomerang. It's kind of nice that the only hitbox is the glass itself, but wow, this one's also super lame. 143, Blue Marine Zone. Robotnik flies from side to side while shooting arrows. Yawn. 142, Egg Dealer. One of the stupidest bosses, not just in Sonic history, but perhaps of all time. You see those glowy buttons? They control a roulette wheel, and you just keep hitting them until you get lucky matches that hurt Eggman. And the game makes us play this boss three times for some reason. What were they thinking? 141, Egg HVC 001. Well, that's a mouthful of a name, but it's not a mouthful of the boss. Robotnik has bumpers for hands that make it hard to hit him, so you have to wait for him to charge at you for an opening. Or, for those of us that have common sense, stand on the right side at the beginning and hit him from the back for a three second KO. How something like this is so easily exploited is beyond me. 140, Volcano Valley Zone. There's a very good chance I'm doing something wrong here, but I hate this battle. You have to hit Robotnik in the middle by bouncing on these pipes over some lava, and I've always struggled to land on the pipes without jumping into lava by accident. And then you've got the Fire Snake guy, he's really annoying as well. I don't know, this one's just really painful. 139, Green Grove Zone. Robotnik drops a spike that bounces around the ground, and if you run in a circle, you'll never get hit. Yep, that's a starting boss, all right. 138, Diamond Dust Zone. You'll start to notice that Sonic 3D Blast has a lot of similar looking fights. This one, Robotnik drops snowman bombs and sprays ice. Sometimes. It's surprisingly easy to avoid getting frozen. You just kind of smack him when he floats down. 137, Spring Stadium Zone. This is one of those bosses that just looks really funny in motion. Robotnik waggles his spiky arms around him, and he gets faster with the more hits you deal. 136, Egg Conveyor. Sonic CD really has a way with creating the most mind-numbing bosses of all time. You'll hold right and occasionally back off to avoid a spike ball. And that's it. 135, Silver Castle Zone. God, this one is so disorienting. So, Robotnik shoots a bunch of laser cannons and we have to avoid them. The screen keeps scrolling up and down and you're stuck on a wheel, so the entire thing is super clunky. Using the mirror to fling back the lasers is an okay idea, but the execution isn't the best. 134, Egg Scrambler. I do like mine a bit on the dry side with a little bit of salt and, uh, oh, oh, wait. Oh yeah, the boss Egg Scrambler. Well, I guess there's some obstacles here in the level itself. We got a few rows of spikes to jump over, but otherwise Robonic is just, you know, leaving himself wide open. 133, Egg Spinner. For a final boss, it's pathetically underwhelming, which is almost impressive. With Egg Spinner, you only have to hit Robotnik four times and you can very easily damage boost your way through. He has these spinner blades for protection and sometimes he'll fire them into the ground, but they move so slow that you'll have no trouble at all avoiding them. I'm almost embarrassed for Robotnik. 132, Egg Stinger. So you basically just avoid a spike that Robotnik drives into the ground. He even takes blocks up with him. But the idiot gives Sonic an immense amount of time to attack, so there's virtually no semblance of challenge here. 131, Egg Scorcher. The Egghead installs a fire spewer under his egg mobile and fires down at the ground. You have to jump from side to side and you shouldn't ever get hit. It's only slightly harder than Egg Stinger, I guess. But now, it's ad time. Opera GX, are you tired of your browsers hogging up your RAM? I know I am, but Opera GX doesn't have that problem since you can limit the amount of CPU and RAM yourself. This browser also isn't boring like the others. There's tons of GX mods to make it more fun and is really customizable. Just look at this Game Boy theme mod. It's got custom sounds for opening and closing tabs, these fun retro keyboard sounds, as well as a dedicated wallpaper and appropriate themes and colors. You can even disable and enable your mods easily from the sidebar. There's also a fully featured extension store and plenty of add-ons, so all the 
ones you're used to are already here, and you can easily import all your settings from your other browsers too. And then there's GX Corner, a digital version of gaming magazines of the past. You can stay up to date with free games, the best deals, newest releases, and breaking gaming news all from this corner. With the download link below, you'll get Opera GX for free and see my 12 latest YouTube videos right on the home page. Use my link below to download Opera GX today. 130, Bridge Zone. Robotnik pops his head out the water and shoots three bullets. I'm pretty sure the guy just wants to lose and doesn't want to admit it, because like seriously, what are you even doing? 129, Labyrinth Zone. This is much different compared to the Genesis original. This time, Robotnik pops his head out of the top or bottom of the screen, and he'll either fire a missile or shoot a few bullets, both of which are easy to dodge. If anything, this battle's kind of dull. 128, Red Volcano Zone. A pogo stick seems like an unintuitive design choice, but Robotnik bounces around in the dark trying to hit us with a boulder. How riveting. 127, Egg Scorcher Mark II. I never really thought of this as an upgrade to Egg Scorcher from Sonic 1, but I guess it technically is because Robotnik shoots tiny fireballs and catches parts of the grass on fire for like two seconds. So sure, it's harder. 126, Egg Scorcher Mark III. I have so much nostalgia for this boss and music, and I love the design, but wow. This third version can shoot fireballs in multiple directions, that's great, but he's still super vulnerable and goes down in mere seconds. 125, Egg Marine. This is basically the Egg Scorcher again, but Robotnik can swim through an overabundance of capitalism. The main difference is a scorpion tail that flies out of the toxins, as well as a laser cannon. Both of these obstacles aren't much of an issue, as are the majority of Sonic boss fights. 124, Mega Octus. It's basically the same as Egg Marine, but with a bit more variety. Eggman's ship actually looks like an octopus here, and there's new tentacle attacks to look out for as well. 123, Egg Golem. Hit the top of the golem to reveal Robotnik and bonk that idiot. This is yet again an interesting concept that just isn't executed that well. It's really a shame that so many of these Eggman bosses are over before they feel like they really begin. 122, Neo South Island. This is like the egg drill stir from Sonic 2, but even easier to avoid. Robotnik just whacks a hammer around carelessly. Look at him go! Woo! Whack, 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 whack. 121, Egg Hornet. Eggman flies around in a vehicle firing some missiles and also tries diving into the ground to hit Sonic or Tails in your ship? This guy is so dumb. What did you think was gonna happen? 120, a cannon. This could also count as a part of the other launch base fights, I guess, but on its own, you just avoid some cannonballs and you can destroy them in like 10 seconds. 119, Egg Rocket. It's the Eggmobile again, but tall, and Robotnik is shooting lasers this time, but he takes very few hits, so he's not a problem to deal with at all. 118, Egg Drillster. Robotnik flies into a tank and takes control of it, with the only danger being a drill in the front. Why would he put himself at such a huge disadvantage? You can literally fly! It's kind of fun to fight, at least. 117, Egg Mobile D. It's the Egg Drillster again, but we all know how much cooler a space background is compared to grass. That's why it's ranked higher. Eh. 116, Egg Drillster Mark II. Oh my god, the Drillster can fly now, just like before you got in the car, you idiot. Or, well, I should say, the Eggmobile has the same drill from Sonic 2's Egg Drillster, and I do like the design of this one a lot more, but the fight itself is still ridiculously easy. 115, Jungle Zone. This may seem very similar to Sonic 1's Egg Scorcher, but instead of fire, he drops a bomb that rolls from side to side. As simple as this one is, at least I have to use a bit of brain power to avoid the bomb, so that's nice. 114, Yellow Desert Zone. The Mad Lad comes out riding a cloud while stabbing around with a spear. Robotnik looks incredibly goofy, and I love the outfit, but it's an easy boss where you just wait for an opening to attack. 113, Egg Cauldron. I guess this counts as an Eggman boss. Technically, you just tap the buttons you see on screen before the missiles hit Tails plane. For someone like me that didn't grow up with an Xbox controller, this is very challenging because I don't have the muscle memory to do this without thinking, but for most people, this is probably basic and to the point. 112, Egg Saucer. Oh boy, we've made it to the infamous Eggman battle. This one has a hand attack that can one-hit KO you with rings. That is so stupid, and I don't understand that design choice, but if you're careful, you probably won't get hit. There's also a laser that's really hard to avoid, so this is kind of a tough battle. But I gotta knock off points for having a one-hit KO. If that wasn't there, this would be a decent boss. 
111, Egg Wrecker. Okay, so I guess this is worse than the original version because of the homing attack. Because, you know, being able to do that makes the boss easier than ever, and it's just kind of forgettable because of it. 110, Egg Wrecker. The original classic boss fight against Robotnik. He flies around in his ship, swinging a wrecking ball around. You can easily avoid the ball with some good timing, but for the first fight ever, it serves its purpose and not much more than that. 109, Egg Wrecker. Wow, it's the same thing, but the background looks cooler. Yeah, let, let, let's go with that again. That, that worked last time. 108, Sky Base Zone. Robotnik should really stop investing in glass and maybe get some steel or something, because you try to smash your way through it while he controls a pillar of electricity for defense. When it's disabled, you just hit him until he's done for. 107, Egg Crusher. One of the most lackluster final bosses in the series' history. Robotnik pops his body out of one of the four pistons in the ground, and you just have to be on the correct side to hit him. You also have to avoid these electric balls in between each piston thrust, and you don't have any rings, but my god. It's virtually impossible to get hit, seeing as you can just stand on one side the whole time, and the electric balls take little effort to avoid. 106, Egg Pistons Mark II. Well, I guess it's better than the original. Egg Pistons Mark II works exactly like the original version until the halfway point, because the pistons go kind of berserk. So while I like the upgrade, there is a reason this is a mid-boss in Sonic Mania. 105, Egg Claw. This is a really cool boss in Sonic 2, but the homing attack completely destroys any semblance of challenge in Sonic 4. And on top of that, the design of the stage has been reduced to only a couple of bumpers and things to bounce off. 104, Eggmobile. One of the more frustrating battles. It almost doesn't even count as a boss. You basically just have to climb your way up the end of the labyrinth zone without drowning. And this isn't necessarily hard, but if you do run into a spear, it feels really painful and also makes it incredibly easy to die. 103, Eggmobile. I really don't understand why the Labyrinth Zone boss from Sonic 1 needed a remake, and this somehow has the opposite problem. The platforming isn't difficult at all now. In fact, it's too simplistic. Between the two bosses, there's a good concept hiding in here, but they really needed to strike a better balance difficulty-wise. But at least at the end of the climb, you actually fight Eggman in a unique way. These statue things come out of the walls, and you have to climb around them to attack. 102, Egg Digger. We fight the lad in an upgraded Eggmobile with two drills that can go through the ceiling. In between bouts, a bunch of sharp rocks fall that can also hurt you. But like usual, he's a big open target that's easy to take out in a matter of seconds. The man really dug his own grave with that one. <laughs> 101, Egg Froster. I think Robotnik at this point is just trying to turn us into ice cream sandwiches and not actually kill us. All he's got here is a tube that shoots little ice blasts with a predictable pattern. It's way easier than you'd think. You kind of just smack him around without thinking and the battle's over. 100, Egg Dragoon. Good lord, Sonic Forces really had to start with Egg Wrecker, because of course it did. It's obviously not the whole battle, it does switch to the Egg Dragoon, but this is now the third remake of this boss we've had, and it's lame as hell. The entire boss is in 2D and just requires you to knock some rocks back at him. Wow, thrilling. 99, Egg Gravitron. Robotnik gets a big ball and turns on some generators to create pillars of electricity. This seems to be completely counterintuitive. Like, why not just shoot electric balls at me or something? It's another easy one. You can either damage boost them with rings, or just wait for him to drop down to get the ball every time. 98, Egg Poison. Did you know the purple water is called Mega Mac? Yeah, me neither. There's a fun fact of the day for you. Robotnik sucks poison into a container and tries dumping it on Sonic. While this is happening, the sides of the platforms are flipping, making the ground unstable, so despite a tad bit of danger, bopping him is a cakewalk because he leaves himself open at all times, as usual. 97, Egg Hammer Mega. While this one may be in crazy 3D, there's not much to this fight. Eggman smashes down into the ground and occasionally rolls on the sides, and it's not much to handle. 96, Egg Hammer Fortress. Look familiar? It's Egg Hammer Mega again, but with a couple new attack patterns. Most notably, some rockets get fired at you from the background, but otherwise it's a clone. 95, Egg Hammer 3. Probably the weakest variant of the Egg Hammer Advance bosses. Eggman just whacks his hammer around the screen without moving. It's a surprisingly weak entry, considering most Sonic Advance bosses are great. 94, Secret Plant Zone. We've got some platforms and slow-moving balls as our obstacles. Things get a little exciting near the end when the platforms start spinning, but otherwise it's straightforward. 
93 Egg Tilter. You may or may not know that I do not like pinball when it comes to video games, and this so-called boss forces me to fling my way up to the top to hit him and win. It's definitely a unique and solid challenge, but the challenge itself always feels unpredictable and random. 92 Egg Razor. Some platforms get launched into the air, and you have to survive by continuing to climb up while avoiding electricity and debris. While it's a lot better than most of Sonic CD's bosses, it's still very much on the lackluster side. It only gets challenging at the very end. But funny enough, this same concept is attempted again in a later Sonic game, which we'll get to later on. 91 Laser Walker. This just might be the most awkward looking robot of all time, you freaking egg brain. He waddles around shooting lasers and you have to jump on him as usual. At the end, his ship transforms a bit and he dives at you. Despite how basic it is, it does take some patience to figure out how the lasers bounce around. 90 Gene Gadget Zone. We're thrown onto a conveyor belt with spikes to avoid, and you have to keep up and hit Robotnik when he dips down. He also fires missiles, although I've never found them to be much of an obstacle, but overall, this is an alright battle. The difficulty feels fair for once. 89 Death Egg Robot, the first of many Death Egg Robot remakes. It functions kind of the same as the original, but in the end, he shoots his arms forward, but you can easily damage boost your way through and win. It feels weird that they made this one a beginner boss. 88 Egg Ball Number 2. Not sure why it's number 2 specifically, but Eggman rolls around in a ball and you can only hit his head, as you'd expect. It's kind of like Egg Claw from Sonic 2, but way easier because Eggman barely rolls around at all. 87 Brass Eggman. It's so strange that we can consider Hidden Palace Zone official, but alas, this one sticks out. Robotnik pulls out his trombone from 7th grade band class, and these cause small and big spikes to fall from the sky. The big spikes unleash a tidal wave of water, which stuns Robotnik for a few seconds. 86 Mean Bean Machine. The inherent shock of playing Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine in the middle of Sonic Mania cannot be understated. It blew my mind at the time, and even now I'm glad they did it. But as a standalone boss, it's really not much of a boss. Eggman is horrible at Puyo Puyo, and you'll probably win by just surviving for long enough. 85 Eggcock. Sonic Heroes bosses are so nostalgic for me, and even today, Eggcock looks pretty cool. You mostly have to attack the body of the plane, but you can also destroy the guns on the sides if you want. With the power characters, this boss isn't any trouble at all with some spamming. 84 Egg Albatross. It's the Eggcock again, but you also take out a blimp and some cannons. You just spam your attacks again and you'll be fine. 83 Eggman Mech. This is actually the only Eggman boss in Sonic Boom, and to defeat him, you use your lasso to grab Eggman's missiles and fling them back, as well as pull him to the ground. It's probably the most interesting part of the game, which isn't really saying much. 82 Egg Breaker. So there's three different areas you'll fight Eggman, all of them being a little bit different. Egg Breaker tries to smash you with his spiked hand at Cryptic Castle, he fires bombs in Mad Matrix, and shoots lasers from a distance in Iron Jungle. With Shadow's weapons in hands, these fights aren't that difficult. In fact, they're kind of funny because Eggman repeats the same catchphrase over and over and over again. Lights up! Lights up! Lights up! You know what they say, the more the merrier. You know what they say, the more the merrier. You know what they say, the more the merrier. You know what they say, the more the merrier. You know what they say, the more the merrier. 81 A Hammer. Bird totem poles form out of the ground while Robotnik smacks the top of them to fire arrows. I'm not sure how that works, but I like the dynamic of the battle. You have to be a bit on your toes to avoid the arrows and hit Robotnik. 80 Cosmic Casino Zone. We're trapped in a pinball table, and Robotnik is floating around. This one's pretty solid, actually. I just wish the screen crunch wasn't so bad, since that makes it a bit hard to see what's going on. 79 Egg Hanger. Guess we're fighting a big bad monkey. Robotnik swings from top to bottom, and you just hit him when he swings up. He also blows fire out of his head, but only from the bottom, which is completely pointless. But at the very least, this is a decent and memorable battle. 78 Gotcha Pandora. By far the cutest boss fight because you play as little Sonic fighting a bunch of little guys. Eggman has a gotcha machine and releases a bunch of little eggheads and Amy dolls. It's not really hard even with regular Sonic, it's just a fun nod that shows the evolution of Sonic bosses. 77 Egg Genesis. Kind of gives off Shadow of the Colossus energy. Egg Genesis will fire a bunch of lasers and missiles. When he's lowered, you just homing attack the orange spot in the middle until he's down. With Silver, you'll use Psychokinesis to grab all the missiles and hurl them back. For how big and impressive Eggman's machine is, it goes down pretty easily. 76 Egg Turtle. I. I guess it kind of looks like a turtle, sure. 
This so-called turtle chases you around the battlefield, and you can attack it when it pokes its head out. For what it's worth, it's fairly enjoyable. 75. Arrow Egg An eggmobile that looks similar to ones we've already seen, but Eggman drops bombs and has a small panel you can bounce off when it's flipped the right way. This one is surprisingly hard because the bomb hitbox is huge and it's really easy to get hit by. It feels maybe a tad bit unfair because of the screen crunch, but overall it's not bad. 74. Egg Bouncer It's basically the same as the Sonic 2 version, but with the homing attack and the difficulty's been toned down significantly. But it makes up for it with a second phase where Eggman is flying around throwing more orbs, but the homing attack makes us a cakewalk as well. 73. Egg Bouncer This is one of those damage boost kind of battles where you get hit on purpose but keep grabbing a ring to survive. Robotnik flies around protected by a bunch of pods, and the pods also turn into mini replicas. I like there's a bit more variety with this one, it's not half bad. 72. Big Arm It's great to see one of the coolest Sonic 3 bosses get a remake, but this is kind of a letdown. The difficulty was dumbed down too much. I don't know why Big Arm moves so slowly here. And yes, I get that he is the first boss in 3DS's Sonic Generations, but I feel like a bit more could have been done. 71. Crystal Egg Zone This optional boss has you inside a tiny chamber where Robotnik is shooting a bunch of energy bolts through the air. It might look like a lot to avoid, but you can easily stay safe in corners and even jump back into the pipes. I gotta hand it to them. This is a pretty solid final boss for back then. 70. Laundra Mobile This is a very left-field boss for Sonic Mania. The only way to attack is to activate these bombs or get sucked into the propeller. It's also the only way to get air bubbles, so you can't really make many mistakes. I feel like this is one of those one-and-done kind of ideas. I'm glad that it exists, but I don't really see much reason for it to be explored again. 69. Gigantic Angel Zone Robotnik busts out a massive aircraft and drops nukes. Since he only dips down for brief moments, it's actually kind of hard to hit him, which makes this battle pretty enjoyable. It takes a good amount of effort to finish him off. 68. Last Utopia Zone With the power of a Chaos Emerald, Robotnik unleashes a vehicle that swings around with massive metal arms. This one isn't too difficult, but you do have to be careful of your rings since you'll probably be damage boosting your way through. 67. Egg Bubble One of the first Eggman bosses to have actual phases. You start by chasing him down a hallway, then you'll dip into the water and he surrounds himself with... Bubbles. Wow, good idea, Egghead. Let Sonic breathe when this was your one chance to force water into his lungs. When you eventually get to him, one hit in and he's toast. Even though it's super easy, it's kind of satisfying to run through. 66. Egg Hammer Tank This is similar to the Neo South Island fight from Sonic Pocket Adventure, but the hammer actually swings from side to side, making it somewhat difficult to avoid. Wow! By the end, Eggman is being lifted into the air due to the hammer. Well, hot damn. 65. Egg Hammer Tank 2 It's very similar to the Egg Hammer Tank from Advance 1, with the biggest difference being that it's much faster and has a more accurate hammer. An Egghead is also grasping onto Cream, because he knows how dangerous cheese is. This is a fun fight all around. 64. Atomic Destroyer Zone For Game Gear, this is a fairly lengthy fight. You'll start with Robotnik bouncing on some sort of pogo stick, then he busts out this crazy flamethrower thing and spews fire at the ground, and after hitting him a bunch, Robotnik's ship starts to fall apart, you follow him into this chamber with electricity bursts shooting down at you, and you can only hit Robotnik on the sides. For the handheld this game runs on, this is a very ambitious boss, and even though it's on the easier side, I appreciate how creative it is. 63. Death Egg Robot Well, it's technically a boss rush first, and then you fight Death Egg Robot. And it's kind of similar to the original, although I'd argue it's a bit worse because of the difficulty drop. The homing attack makes this fight a lot easier, and the hitboxes are more generous. But I do have to give credit for the new attacks added in. Hitting the arm back of the Death Egg Robot is kind of cool, but I'd rather play the original. 62. Death Egg Robot Here it is, one of Eggman's most famous robot contraptions, and its original version is... Okay, at best, it, it's just okay. Look, I get that it's iconic and even now still looks pretty cool, but the fight itself is fairly straightforward. Robotnik takes some steps, flies into the air, you go to the right of the screen, you jump away before the laser hits you, you smack him, and then avoid his arm stabs. Rinse and repeat and he's done for. 61. Egg King Oh no, this could be a contender for most annoying Sonic boss of all time. But to give a fair amount of credit, Egg King is hard as hell and well worthy of being a badass looking final boss. But good lord, climbing his arm to get hits in can be miserable. When you're running across, Eggman will try to shake you off, so you have to duck to stay on. Sounds simple, right? Yeah, well guess what? This asshole near the end starts sending out boxes that force you to jump, and that means you can't duck, then you get shaken off the arm, and then you just 
just keep getting shaken off over and over again, and you just have to wait for a good pattern. So despite this completely random jump in difficulty compared to Sonic Rush's other fights, it's not that bad. Just a little annoying. 60. Egg Press What is it with all the pogo stick fights? I mean, really. This is probably the best variant, at least. Eggman's pogoing does a better job at aiming, and at one point he'll launch himself high into the air and drop back down. So I guess that makes it the best version. 59. Weather Globe Adding weather into the mix is a really cool idea and adds a lot of fun elements to the battle. Thunderstorms fire lightning towards the ground, wind lifts you in the air making you hang on for dear life, and the sun can burn you if you don't take cover. It's a nice balance of challenge and variety. I enjoy this one. 58. Egg Frog I mean, I guess he jumps like a frog. You gotta hit Eggman on the ground while also avoiding his nukes and the explosion trail it leaves behind. And this fire trail requires a really well-timed jump to avoid. Eggman wasn't playing around with this one. 57. Eggfoot Nope, your eyes aren't deceiving you. This one looks exactly like Eggfrog, but I found this one to be a bit more fun and not as annoying as Eggfrog. But these two could honestly be interchanged. 56. Hyper Egg Robo Eggman is packing some heat this time. This is a solid boss fight, but maybe a bit on the easy side. The Egg Robo's hands will sometimes destroy some of the platforms temporarily, and it'll spawn these red orbs that you can stand on. Or you can just be Knuckles and literally jump up and bop Eggman like it's a normal Tuesday. You know, that, that works too. 55. Egg Serpent Leaf I can't deny that the design of this boss is pretty cool. It's like a flower with these snaky vine arms. With tails, you just have to avoid its attacks and fly up to attack. This is a pretty solid fight all around. 54. Rusty Ruin Zone I'm just noticing that this Robotnik looks like a cat with a night hat on, which is pretty strange, but basically you avoid some balls and Robotnik swipes at the ground. Then you have to stand on his paw and let him carry you up to attack. Despite how goofy this all looks, it's a fairly fun one and helps you get more accustomed to the camera perspective. 53. Egg Pinball This takes the idea of a pinball battle and reverses it entirely. Eggman fires blue balls at you, and you have to smack them back at him. It's a brilliant concept, but not as easy to do as you'd think. The balls are shot out randomly, so best of luck being accurate hitting them. 52. Egg Heart This is the first time I'm noticing that Eggman's ship is actually shaped like a real human heart. Weird. But anyway, we're surrounded by a bunch of rings that have electricity gates, and we have to jump over them to reach Eggman for hits. It's a little underwhelming for a final boss, but it is kind of neat. At least it's unique. 51. Egg Walker Another decent boss. Especially in the presentation, like damn, Eggman went hard with this one. You simply have to weaken the leg to knock Eggman down. It's not really that challenging, but it is a lot more enjoyable than half the bosses we've gone over. 50. Egg Bomber Tank The title is pretty self-explanatory. Eggman is in a tank and he's popping bombs at you. This one can be a bit tough not because the bombs aren't hard to predict, but because the ground moves up and down. This throws off Sonic's jump height, which can make the bombs hard to avoid. Like a lot of Sonic Advance bosses, it's really solid and offers a fair challenge. 49. Egg Totem Three spiky discs float outside of Eggman's vehicle, and you have to stand on top to reach them. This one can be tricky. You need to time your jumps well to hit Eggman, and we're also given tons of rings so there's not much risk of losing a life. So the battle gives us ample time to figure out the timing, and it's not too shabby. 48. Egg Spider Sonic Advance really has a knack for decent boss fights. Eggman this time is knocking icicles into the water, and we have to jump off them to breathe and attack. It's a basic concept, but works well because the icicles aren't predictable, and the fear of drowning keeps things exciting. 47. Egg Vortex It's the Eggmobile again, but we're in water and Robotnik has a propeller with a lot of power. His propeller spins so fast that he can create deadly water currents, but we're also able to jump off the top of them and hit him when he's building a vortex. I've always enjoyed this battle. The bombs as an extra obstacle is a great touch too. 46. Egg Scrap Mech The transformation here is really cool. Eggman takes a bunch of scrap metal pieces and turns himself into a larger robot. A bunch of boxes fall from the ground that you'll avoid, and you have to wait for Eggman to open his helmet up to attack. I'm pretty stunned at how solid some of the Sonic 4 bosses are, given the lacklusterness of the first episode. 45. Egg Cube One of the only bosses that doesn't take X amount of hits to defeat. You instead have to knock him into a pit. While doing this, he'll deploy missiles, a mason chain, and little clown dudes. It's rare to see a boss fight like this one, and it's really fun since it depends so much on your ability to avoid Eggman's attacks. 44. Egg Libra We've got another innovative idea here. Hit the ball to knock Eggman down a level and then smack him. It's a bit odd that we're allowed to touch the spikes without getting hurt at certain times, but I really enjoy this fight. 
43, a go round. Anybody here notice that this boss fight is similar to Sonic Pocket Adventure's Secret Plant Zone? Weird comparison, I know, but it's the same concept. Land on platforms that are spinning while avoiding bullets and spikes. Since you're constantly running, it's really hard to avoid the bullets while landing on the platforms. It's a fun but tricky one. 42, Egg Scarab. Okay, this is hilarious. A robot dung beetle that rolls a spike ball instead of sh How can you not find that a little funny? The way to attack is pretty fantastic as well. Eggman launches the spike ball towards you, and when the spikes are gone, you'll bounce it back at him. That's just straight up karma right there. 41, A Claw. In Casino Night, Robotnik is flying around dropping red spiky balls that explode, and also has deadly electric claws. While you can use the flippers to attack, it's a lot easier to spin dash and jump off the wall. This is a solid fight since the spike balls are a constant threat, and forcing yourself to use momentum to reach Robotnik is always fun. 40, Egg Spiker. A surprisingly solid boss from the original Sonic. Robotnik drops spiked iron balls on seesaws, and you can use the seesaws to either launch the iron balls back at Robotnik or launch yourself into the air to hit him. I really like how Sonic's momentum plays a huge role in the battle. It's one of the best classic ones. 39, Egg Eagle. Honestly, one of Eggman's coolest looking robots. This thing can fly around firing off energy missiles and also walk around with nasty spinning blades. Not too hard of a battle, but it's pretty engaging. 38, Chaotic Space Zone. This is very similar to Final Weapon from Sonic 3, but a lot more simplified. You have to run into the missile to launch them back while still collecting rings to stay as Super Sonic. This is a pretty decent one, but definitely not as dynamic as the fight from Sonic 3. 37, Spider-Mobile. Another fight that involves the environment for attacking. You have to swing off these poles and knock Eggman into the spikes on the side. It's a basic idea, but is executed quite nicely. 36, Egg Inferno. Definitely one of the better Sonic 3 fights. You start off jumping over lava while avoiding missiles and collapsing platforms, then you climb down a lava fall and Robotnik shows up completely invincible. You absolutely cannot hit him. The only way he'll take damage is from the spikes he sends to himself by accident. This one is really refreshing. I really like what they did here, and it's even a little bit difficult. 35, Super Egg Robot. We've got more supersonic action. This time, you're fighting a Transformer that fires lasers and sends Lunar Rock into the air. You start with 50 rings, so you have to attack his head before you run out of rings, and that's the extent of that. 34, True Area 53 Boss. Wow, it's virtually the same as Super Egg Robot from Advance 1, but now you're fighting a Red Ocarina, and it's as enjoyable as that one. 33, Final Weapon, the very first secret final boss. You fly around as hypersonic and need to collect rings, avoid asteroids, and reach Robotnik. You'll need some quick reflexes to avoid the asteroids, and also the music is perfect. It's got this exciting 90s charm to it. It's very jumpy and exudes adrenaline. Once you catch up to the ship, missiles fly towards you, and you need to lead them to hit the ship to cause damage and eventually get the emerald back. After so many lackluster bosses in Sonic 3, this one takes the cake. 32, Egg Salamander. Of all the 2D supersonic battles, this is one of the most interesting ones out of the bunch. Sonic and Blaze take turns battling the Salamander. It's more of what you'd expect, but there's a lot more attacks to avoid, so the variety is nice. And at the end, Sonic and Blaze plow through Egg Salamander at the same time, and it makes a 13-year-old version of me very happy. 31, Egg Emperor. I'm kind of shocked to see this boss get a remake at all, considering how complex he is in Sonic Heroes. It's actually somewhat similar to the original. A lot of the attacks are the same, but it plays entirely in 2D. And I think it works well, but it's just not as exciting when you can't move around in a 3D space. 30, Egg Viper. Get a load of this. The Egg Viper flies through the air, shooting away at Sonic, and it's the first time we're seeing a cinematic battle with Dr. Eggman. He eventually opens himself up with three big green buttons. <laughs> really glad you did that, buddy. But no, this is actually a pretty quality fight. Later on, he throws these razor discs at you, and you have to land on top of them and stay on for extra height. It's one of the better fights, that's for sure. 29, Big Arms. Oh man, I love how dark and entrancing the music gets for this one. It really sets the mood and the boss fight pairs well with it. The name speaks for itself. Robotnik's got some big arms and hands and he basically just flies around trying to grab you. He's pretty swift so you'll only be able to hit him at the right time. And it's nice to see that considering so many classic bosses take like 5 seconds to defeat. 28, Egg Dragoon. This one is kind of like Egg Emperor, but on crack. You have to attack the green orbs as often as possible, and then lead up with more QTE attacks. But then, the ground falls apart. You're avoiding Eggman's attacks in the air, you'll land on a meteor on the way down, the whole thing's kind of intense. What really holds it back though, is the QTEs. I really wish half the battle wasn't filled with that. 
27, Egg Ball. It's kind of the same idea as Sonic 1's final boss, but done in a much better way. Eggman and a big spike ball will randomly pop out of any of these tubes, so you have to be on your toes to hit Eggman while avoiding the spike, and I honestly really like this one. It forces you to be creative and swift with your movement. 26, Egg Snake. For once, Eggman isn't being stupid about defending himself. He hides underneath a stack of spikes, and we have to use the bridge's gravity to flip him over to attack. We've seen this gimmick kind of attempted before, but the execution works perfectly here. He even fires energy shots for a bit of extra challenge. 25, A Gravity. I think the devs were starting to run out of ideas at this point. Here's another boss that's almost the same as a previous one, this being Egg Snake from Advance 1. There's a bouncy bridge again, and you have to bop Gemroll to do damage. The main difference is you can swap sides, which is a neat gimmick on its own. So it's still really fun, just not that original. 24, Dive Eggman. I adore this boss fight so much. Flipping the roles of controlling the egg vortex while Eggman is stuck on the bottom is incredible. Eggman drops bombs as well, so you have to try sucking him up while not getting hit. It's so good. I'd honestly love to see more reverse boss fights like this in the future. 23, Panic Puppet Zone. This one has a few different faces. The first one drops bombs from Robotnik's robot shoulders. Then when he sinks his arm down, there's a button that blinks and you have to hit it quickly. The next faces include fire snakes that follow you around and a bunch of deadly blue marbles. For how simple most of 3D Blast bosses are, this one turned out pretty solid. It forces you to use quick reflexes, find safe areas, and a good amount of thought and precision. 22, Final Weapon. The secret final boss really pushes the limit. There's a lot of phases to plow through. Robotnik starts by shooting lasers with his sausage fingers and fire, then you have to avoid more hands that try to stomp you, followed by a missile launcher section and more deadly balls. So in a sense, it is similar to Panic Puppet's fight, but also much more intricate and challenging. I just like all the variety as well as the environment. 21, Egg Cerberus. For as janky as Sonic 06 is, this is a neat boss design. To attack, you have to grind up his tail and reach the antenna, then point him towards a wall or statue to bash into. It's a pretty fun concept, and one of the few decent moments in the game. 20, Egg X. I love the name Egg X. That really defines the 2000s in a nutshell. But anyway, this battle has Eggman attacking with balls, lasers, or a deadly hand. This one's actually pretty tough, because his attacks come in fast, and he's only vulnerable when he briefly pops his head out of the cockpit. It's a really fun one. 19, Super Egg Robo Z. This is mostly a boss rush with a brand new robot at the end. Well, I say brand new, but it's just the successor to the Advance 1 version. This time, he shoots massive lasers and has deadly arms as attacks. You can take out his arms if you want, but you just need to smack his head when the opportunity arises. The entire segment is very long and challenging, but also super rewarding when you finally blow up the Egg Robo. 18, Egg Wyvern. A dragon-like boss fight that takes place in the sky is honestly pretty badass. Wyvern dives at Sonic, and you have to grab onto his horn and drive him into fuel canisters. With the next phase, you'll bounce off laser cannons to reach Eggman and eventually take him out. If 3D Sonic does anything well, it's often the boss fights, and this one is pretty awesome. 17, Death Egg Robot. I know people are tired of the Death Egg Robot, but at least the Generations version is remixed to feel different. His weak points have been changed up. It relies more on knocking him over, and it even switches to a platforming segment where you have to trick Eggman to hit a mine, which stops his arm from moving for a second. It's a lot more enjoyable than the original, that's for sure. 16, Egg Chaser. Holy moly, this is an incredible battle. Eggman is chasing us up a building, and we're forced to climb up platforms that fall after we land on them. The best way to hit Eggman is with the platforms themselves, which is an ingenious gameplay loop. This encourages you to time out your jumps while also not getting hit by the spike ball. This is such a clever boss. 15, Giant Eggman Robo. Well, hot damn, Robotnik decided to make a robot that's actually large and intimidating. You'll start this by dashing through the sausage fingers, then he charges for you head on while destroying the road from behind, then there's this massive laser cannon, and his nose spews this deadly fire, so without Supersonic, you're gonna need to time your jumps really well. And finally, Robotnik tries to make a getaway with the Master Emerald, so you have to take him out while the road is collapsing from behind you. This is by far one of the best classic Sonic bosses. It almost feels cinematic. 14, Egg Emperor. This is a much better Eggman fight. The Emperor unleashes a fury of energy waves and homing attacks, and the only way to do damage is to attack the weak spot. By using Team Blast and one of the flying characters, you'll eventually take him down. It's a lot better than Sonic Hero's other bosses. 
13. Egg Wizard. Finally, we've got a bit of a different spin on supersonic battles. Eggman wields a jewel scepter and shoots massive fireballs out of it. We have to deflect the fireballs back and sometimes play ping pong, so similar to the Ganon fight in Ocarina of Time. This is one of the more engaging Eggman battles. 12. Phantom King and Klepto Mobile. A lot of 2D supersonic fights are fun, but this one takes it to the next level. Fighting two different bosses at once is a great change of pace, and they both have different types of attacks that can be tricky to avoid. I don't know, something about this one just feels awesome to play, and the music and environment really hit home. 11. Egg Robo. It's the Sonic Colors final boss with a couple new attacks, but not as interesting because it's already been done. It's still fantastic, don't get me wrong, but it's strange to see it get remade so soon. 10. Egg Robo. The only reason I'm ranking this higher than the Wii U game is because this version has different attacks and isn't a complete copy from Sonic Colors, and it's also more impressive that it's running on a 3DS so smoothly. 9. Egg Beetle. I'm just realizing that this kind of pays homage to the Sonic Advance 2 bosses, where you run the whole time. Egg Beetle is really damn cool. The presentation is just phenomenal with this fight. The only way you can attack is by boosting or using a homing attack when Egg Beetle is opened up. You'll also have to avoid tons of missiles while doing this. And the way that Eggman rolls when he gets hit is so satisfying to watch. This is a peak Eggman battle. 8. Egg Lancer. It's the same as the Egg Beetle, but much more dynamic in design. Sonic has to run up walls, avoid laser attacks, and tastefully jump off walls with QTEs. This and Egg Beetle could be interchanged depending on how much you like the extra flair Egg Lancer offers. 7. Phantom Egg. A really solid final boss. Eggman is protected by his shield, and only opens up when he electrifies his octo arm things. Each time you destroy one, you're phased to another room and have to survive one of the Phantom Heavies. It's difficult, unique, and one of the best 2D battles Sonic has to offer. 6. Time Eater. Both Eggmans team up here, which is a really compelling concept, and the fight itself is pretty good. It would have been a lot better if Sonic friends would just shut the hell up. I don't know why I need to know their every thought 24-7. Super Sonic and Super Sonic have to fly towards Time Eater and attack its core. You'll have to switch between 3D and 2D to get closer, and I love the whole concept that we're flying through a literal wormhole too. 5. Death Egg Robot So, why is this even called the Death Egg Robot? I mean, honestly, what actual resemblance does this thing have with the original? Ignoring the name, this boss is the highlight of Sonic Forces. You start off in 2D, avoiding lasers and having to knock rocks back at Eggman. Then you start playing as your OC, and Eggman smashes his hand into the ground and you have to attack it a bunch. This is then followed up by another Sonic Colors final boss clone. <sighs> I mean, it would have been fine if they added something new to it, but they don't outside of one new attack. But in general, this is admittedly a really, really great boss, despite only half of it having original ideas. 4. Nega Wisp Armor Eggman uses the power of the Wisps, and I just adore when boss fights do this. Using powers that the hero's been using throughout the whole game adds a fun dynamic to the entire experience. And then using all the Wisps at the very end to finish off Eggman is just a cherry on top. 3. Time Eater I think it's fair to say that this version of Time Eater is more challenging than the console one, and it's arguably even better. For one, Sonic's friends don't talk to us the whole time, and I do also appreciate the higher difficulty. For 3DS, the fight is quite a spectacle and even has fully 3D sections. 2. Egg Dragoon what an awesome pick to bring this battle back. The combat is even more engaging than Sonic Unleashed. Instead of just standing in one spot hitting green orbs, you're jumping off rails, wall jumping, avoiding ice blasts. It's better in pretty much every way. They even left in the falling segment, but now it's way better and you can actually attack Eggman at the same time. 1. Nega Wisp Armor in a surprising turn of events, this boss is somehow more ambitious than the console variants. While Eggman only used a few of the Wisps in the Wii slash PC versions, the DS one uses all of them, and you have to basically get the Wisp powers back. Eggman's faces are based on the Wisps themselves, and you have to survive an attack to get their powers returned. Why wasn't this concept done on the home console? This is such a great idea and was perfectly executed. Wow. Eggman bosses, <laughs> they kind of suck outside of a few decent ones. If there's one takeaway from this video, Sonic bosses are a bit more about style than substance, for better or worse. But with that, thanks for watching.